Hi everyone, myself Dr. M. Lakshmi Prasad, working as an associate professor in the Department of Data Science in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what are the advantages and disadvantages of various sources of the data. So already you know that so in order to uh, implement any kind of data representation, so first of all you have to collect the data what it is, right? So, and you have to identify what are the various sources of the data. Then for that, uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages also I'm going to cover in this video. So in this video, I'm going to cover the introduction of that one and importance of data and data collection and data collection techniques. And what are the different types of data we're having, right? Uh, primary data, sources of primary data, advantages of primary data and disadvantages. And similarly, I can able to cover the secondary data and sources of secondary data advantages disadvantages of the secondary data so these are the topics where i can able to cover in this video so source of the data so the way the data you can able to define as the quantitative and qualitative values of the variable and the data is nothing but a plural of the data which like it really means to give something about the data and data is thought to be a lowest unit of information from which the other measurements and analysis can be done. So whereas the data can be in the form of numbers or it may be images or words, figures, facts or it may be idea. So data itself cannot be understood to get the information from the data what I interpreted in a meaningful form. So but there are so many methods that are available for interpreting the data. And the, these, these data sources are going to be classified into different types like primary and secondary. So the source of data, right? So what do we have? What do we have to identify where the data is going to be gathered? So what the type of gather it is going to be? So the data normally defined as the quantitative data and then qualitative data normally. And data is the word that is the plural, which is going to be means to give something or give or something given. And the data should be the uh, lowest unit of information from which other unit measurements and analysis can be done. And the data may be in the form of numbers or it may be in the form of images, words, figures, facts, and then ideas. So, but the data itself uh, cannot be understood to get the information from one must be able to interpret in meaningful information. So, but there are so many methods are available for interpreting the data. And these data sources are broadly classified into different types like primary data and then secondary data. So what is the importance of this data and data collection, right? So the data should be considered as one of the most important and vital aspect of the research studies. So many of the researchers are going to be extracting the data from different fields and different areas of the study uh, in order to implement the different methodology. and uh, which is going to analyze and interpret it to get the information. And the data should be the basic unit in the statistical studies, but in the statistical information like uh, census, population variables, hand standards, and road standard records, everything, everything is going to be developed from the data, right? So the data is very important to in order to make this data visualization and then presentation or not in order to become a data scientist, uh, the data is very important. So the data is one of the most important and vital aspect of any kind of research studies. And the researchers of this uh, uh, conducted into different fields of the study, in different methodology, but every research can be uh, based on what data is going to be analyzed and what type of information is going to be interpreted. And the data is nothing but the basic unit in statistical studies and statistical information like census, population variables, health statistics, and road accidents records all the uh, developed from the data. And data collection techniques, what we're having is there are two sources of data collection techniques. So since I already told that very first one should be primary and secondary data collections. So, and this uh, primary data collection uh, is to be done through the surveys and experiments and direct observations. Whereas the secondary data, what I collected that may be conducted by collecting information and from different sources of data which is already published thing will be transferred as the secondary data collection. 
and some of the examples of this uh, sec, uh, sources of the second data will also be treated as data mining itself right so the data collection so there are two sources of the data collection the very first one is the primary and second one should be the secondary and this primary data collection where i said the first one that should be able to done through the surveys and experiments or through the direct observation we can able to perform it whereas the secondary data collection techniques that should be conducted uh, by collecting information from uh, various sources of the documents electrical electrically stored information sensors and macro studies so all these common examples of the uh, data secondary data so next one is primary data so what should be the primary data so the primary data means the original data that has been collected uh, specially for the purpose in the mind and it means that someone should be collected the data from the original source of first hand information and the data what we collected is called treated as the primary data right so primary means original data that has to be collected uh, specially for the purpose in mind and it means that someone has to collect the data from the original source of the first hand information so otherwise it should not be treated as the primary data and under what i am going to say that the primary data is, is not still has not been published and the data what i collected that should be reliable authentic and objective and the primary data has not been changed or altered by the humans therefore this validity of this data is very greater when compared to the secondary data so the primary data is the thing uh, which is the original one and it should not be still at published yet and the data what i collected that should be more reliable authentic and objective and the primary data has cannot be changed or altered by human beings there is the other thing we have to be remember and the data what i collected for the primary one should be have a greater validity when compared to the secondary data so these are the some the various methods uh, that are available for conducting the primary data so the very first thing is that the survey so survey is this thing which is the most commonly used method in any kind of social sciences methodology marketing psychology and to uh, some extent and the surveys are going to be done in uh, different methods right so the survey is the one kind of method and should be mostly commonly used one and if it which is going to be done in very social sciences management marketing psychology and this survey can also be conducted in different methods so this is the first one and second that is uh, questionnaire so questionnaire is also most commonly used method in the survey itself and the current survey uh, questionnaire means we should be nothing but the uh, list of questions that may be either open ended or the closed ended for which the respondent can able to give the answers so the questionnaire should able to push it out to the respondent and then we able to extracting the data from the questionnaire uh, questionnaire right and in order to get the data so here the questionnaire can also be conducted through telephone is the under one of the source or through mail i can able to done or can live in the public area or in the institute through the electronic mail or through fax and other methods also available so the questionnaire is the most commonly method uh, in order to extract the primary data and these questionnaires can be of two types like open ended questions or it may be open ended uh, that may be closed to the uh, sent to the respondent and this questionnaire can be conducted uh, via telephone mail and which uh, is going to be live in public area or the institute through electronic mail or through the fax of the other methods and the third one is that interview so interview is under one which is going to perform face to face conversation with the respondent and which is going to be a slow expensive and they cannot take people away from the regular jobs but they allow in depth questioning and then follow up the questions 
So the interview is another kind of method which can able to perform face to face conservation with the respondent. And previous one is also you know, questionnaire. So the same thing I can also include in the interview itself, but face to face con uh, conservation is going to be done here. But the interview should be a little bit slow process in order to extract the data, and it should also be expensive one. And so many of the people are away from this uh, regular job, but they go doing. Uh, they are not going along into the uh, depth in the questionings and follow up of questions. And next one is that observations is the thing uh, where the observations can also be done uh, through the experiments, and this can be done by letting down observe a uh, per person and uh, know how he is going to be observed and without letting him know. So the observation can also be made in several settings as well as artificially uh, created environment. So the observation, so it will also be the one of the primary method uh, which can able to extract the primary data. So by observing the experiments or by observing the person or by seeing the pictures also can able to extract in the data. And what are the advantages of this uh, uh, primary data is that so the data interpretation is going to be better one. So that is the best advantage of this uh, uh, primary data. And then the target issues what I collected uh, should also be addressed. And efficient spending for the information. So uh, the data what we collected that should be efficient one. So in order to present any kind of application and decency of the data. And then should also address the specific research issues and should also have greater control among the data and then property issues. So these are the some of the uh, advantages and disadvantages of the primary data. Right. So this data, uh, these are the various advantages of this one, but the among this data, what we collected that is primary one. So we should have a better interpretation and then we should also have the target issues are going to be reached and greater control also. So these are the some of the advantages of this uh, method. When it comes to disadvantages of this one, so the best uh, disadvantage uh, is that so high cost so in order to gather this primary data so we have to incur most of that uh, um, most of the money to involve in this one and it should also be time consuming process and and the disadvantage is that it should have inaccurate feedbacks and more number of results are going to be required. so these are the some of the advantages and disadvantages of this primary method uh, data so this Research one is so high cost, time consuming, inaccurate feedback, and more number of users are going to be required for implementing this uh, primary data. While coming to the secondary data, the secondary data is the data that has been already collected one and readily available from other sources. But when you are going to use the statistical method with the primary data, uh, some other purpose is going to be used for the secondary data. It means that so one purpose primary data is under purpose secondary data. So that the secondary data what I uh, is the data that is going to be reused one and it should also be published data and the such data is more quickly obtainable from the primary data also. And the secondary data what I get uh, should be obtained from various sources including literature or industry surveys complication from the computerized databases and information system and the computerized or mathematical models of the environmental process. So the secondary data, so this is the second form of the data where that has been collected uh, by and readily available from the other sources. Uh, so this secondary data may are available like in magazines and books, uh, newspapers, and uh, any other published resources. So all the things what we get from these sources what we call treated as the secondary data. But when I'm going to use the statistical method with the primary data, should have some other purpose and similarly uh, that means the data what I get from the other sources should be treated as the secondary data. It means the primary data is the under purpose of the secondary data. 
So the secondary data may also come from, from the primary data itself and it should be obtained very quickly when compared to the primary data. And the secondary data may be obtained from many sources. Uh, just now what I said should be literature and then uh, industrial surveys, complications and then computerized databases and any other uh, systems or any other computerized mathematical models of the environmental process. So what are the other uh, types of methods that are available for gathering the secondary data? So very first thing is that the publisher sources is the thing. So there are variety of uh, publisher printer sources are available and this uh, should be dependent on many factors. So for example, if I'm for the, on the writer, so the publishing company time, date, when it published and similarly these are the factors that have to be considered and new sources are preferred and old sources should be avoided as the new technology and researchers uh, bring new facts into light right so these are the some uh, publisher printable sources fund suppose a writer which is going to be uh, publish some content and the time date also be important when it is going to publish so as the new sources uh, are also available and then the mostly this new sources are going to be preferred and world sources are mostly going to be avoided so as on new technology and researches are being some new facts and next one is that uh, books so books also be the data what i get from the book should also be treated as the secondary data so the books are also available in any or topic that may want to do or want to perform some research. But the use of the books start even before when you're going to select the particular topic. So once the selection of topics are going to be uh, selected from the book, then how much of work that has been already done on the same topic. And then you have can able to prepare your literature review. So the books are the going to be treated as the secondary source, but most authentic one is the secondary uh, source itself. So books uh, are available on the day today for any kind of topic you want to perform research, and the use the use of the books will also start before even you have to select the topic. After the selected one, so what do you have to do? You have to be uh, Consider what are the topics that are relevant to the topic will have to be considered and books should be considered as the secondary source of the primary data. And next one is the general and periodicals. So this is one also considered as the secondary data source. So nowadays the generals uh, have become the more important as far as the data collection is going to be considered and reason is that the generals are going to provide up to date information at which the time books cannot be and secondly uh, the generals which can able to give the information on every specified topic on which the researching are talking about more general studies. So if I take the books, the books should also be Considered as the secondary data, the what the data what they provided in the book should be older one, and so that's why uh, if I'm going to take the genders, the data what I provided information what is there in the genders is the up to date information is available. So that is also very important. So whether you have to consider the old one or you have to consider the new one. So. So the main reason of this uh, selecting data from general is that up to date information is available and cannot. And secondly, this general information can be obtained on a very specific topic where the researcher is going to be performed. And next one is the magazines and newspapers is another way of select, uh, collecting the secondary data. So magazines are uh, also effective one, but they are not reliable because the newspaper, on the other hand, is more more reliable and some of the cases the information that can be only obtained from the newspaper in the case of some political studies only right so the magazines and newspapers should also be effective but not a reliable one but other hand if i take newspaper it should be more reliable because the magazines are also 
not the data is not up to the mark suppose uh, right so that if i go into consider the newspaper so what will happen is that so up to very updated information going to be available in newspaper so that should be um, to consider for the secondary data And other published electronic sources, what we have for collecting the uh, secondary data is that, so internet is the thing, uh, internet is the most advanced one, it should be uh, fast and reachable to the masses and it, sh it has been sent that much information that is not available in printable form which is going to be available on the internet. So in the past, the credibility of the internet, what should be that is, so the questionable but today it is not ha having so right so what is the information and the published one so it is only are going to get some part of the information so suppose the published electronic sources if i'm going to take the internet like so what will happen is the information what i extracted should be very updated information when compared to the newspapers journals and all so that is the reason the past journals and books uh, published on the internet but almost every general book is going to be available in online so what will happen is so every generals what is there and books what are they available so make it as online so that everyone can able to get the updated information and which is going to be free also and e generals is the under way of uh, extracting the secondary data so e generals are mostly commonly available than the printable journals so e journals are different and printable journals are uh, different so if i am going to take the printable journals what will happen is the data we are getting is not up, not up to date and then it should also time taking process but if it is e journals so all the data what is available in general is posted in, into internet so if everyone can easily access the information and then also can able to extract the more data and the latest generals are difficult to retrieve without subscription but if your university has a new e-library you can able to view any kind of general but print and those are not available can able to order them and next one is the general websites so general websites uh, do not contain uh, very reliable information so the content should be checked for the reliability before uh, quoting from uh, them okay so general websites we are having so many websites nowadays and so but the content what they have in the website is not reliable one and content should also be checked we have to be so the content should be checked for the reliability before quoting from them and next one is that uh, weblogs so weblogs are also becoming very common then they are actually uh, various uh, diaries that is going to be written by the different people and these diaries are going to be reliable to be uh, used as a personal written diaries. So diaries the better uh, that like uh, web blogs right so web blogs also become very common nowadays and the diaries most of the diaries are going to be written by different people and then that should be also be considered as a reliable one so any of the people write their own personal uh, that is right and comes to advantages of the secondary data so the secondary data uh, should be inexpensive so it is not that much uh, cost one since already the data is available and you can also the data easily accessible so already we are going to be extract this data from the primary one or we can able to extract the data from other different sources right so we can able to easily accessible and it should also be immediately available and we should also provide essential background and help them to clarify and refine the research problem and secondary data should also provide uh, research method or alternatives and it will also be alter the researcher to provide any kind of potential difficulties right uh, so these are the advantages of the secondary data so the secondary data should be inexpensive and easily accessible and then the data should be also be immediately available so this through the secondary data we can able to provide the essential background and should also be helpful and clarify the research problem and secondary data sources will also provide the research method alternatives and it should also 
alter the residue to any kind of potential difficulties. So when it comes to disadvantages, so this data should be very expensive also, mostly in order to get to extract the data. And sometimes it may be possible to not immediately, our data is not available, it should be takes time uh, to define the problem and sampling frame method and analysis. And it should also be treated as readily not accessible and incomplete information also be available in some of the cases. Right. So, these are the disadvantages of the secondary data. So, the secondary data means the data should be not that much, uh, that much not easy, easily to extract the data and not readily available. Some of the cases, if I consider, then it should become considered as an expensive one and it should also be, uh, have some of the incomplete information. So in this video, what I thought going to cover is so what are the various advantages and disadvantages of this uh, data collection. So initially I discovered what is the various sources of the data. So the data should be defined in two terms like qualitative and quantitative and it also be uh, considered as the lowest one. And so the data may be in the form of different numbers uh, like numbers, images, words and like that. And so many methods are available for implementing this and the important should be, so the data should be also be treated as one of the most important vital aspect of the various research studies. And this should also be treated as the basic unit of the statistical studies and then which also going to be used in many of the applications like sensors, population variable, health statistics and road accident records like that. And some of the data collection techniques what we are having here is a primary and secondary data. And so the, what is the primary data? The primary data means the original data that is going to be uh, collected specially purpose in mind and should be also be treated as first-hand information of the data. And some of these uh, methods that are available for primary data collection is the surveys, questionnaire, interview and then observations. So, so these are the techniques that are available. So when it comes to advantages of this the primary data, so the data interpretation is better and then the target issues are going to be addressed and efficiently spending of information and decency of the data and then greater control and then property. Then the disadvantages of the primary research will be you should have high cost, time consuming one, inaccurate feedbacks and more number of resources are going to be required. And similarly, the secondary data is the data that has been already collected and should be readily available from other sources. And, and so some of the various methods that are available for the secondary data is that we publish printable sources like um, books, journals, periodicals, and then magazines and newspapers. But if I'm going to go for the published electronic sources is the best one and compared to published printable sources. So, so we can able to extract the more information uh, and then very fastly you can able to extract it when compared to the published um, printable sources. So some of the published electronic sources may be e-generals, website and general blogs. And so the advantage of this one it should be of secondary data is inexpensive, easily accessible immediately available and should also provide some background knowledge to various uh, researchers and should also have some of the alternative methods. And similarly, if I'm going to consider this disadvantages, so the disadvantage means it should be expensive one and then not readily easily accessible and incomplete information will also get some of the applications that I'm going to take. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.